Alright, so in this video I am going to show you guys how to make a tool assembly and kind of populate a tools list down here to make your own catalog and uh, we'll pretty much be done making a template. So first thing you need to do is click on your program, insert any operation and you'll see a tools populated down here. Go to your resources tab, what you're machining with, you'll see that tools, what came up and we are going to add a holder. So ER40 is what I'm shooting for. Alright, go out of the program, double click on your assembly which you see populated down here. Um, I'm going to make couples, so I'm going to put a variable on there. Um, make this window a little bit bigger so I can zoom in. And put in the dimensions of your collet. Three stages. Um, this is one point five. And this is a cool thing with Katia's uh, edit parameters. It's quite the little calculator. So I'm going to add to that. Um, well, I guess it's not really necessary, but all right. Make that the same size as the bottom. I'm going to change the name on this just because it'll bug me. And now, um, all right, all right. So we got one tool in there with the uh, the tool assembly. And you'll notice uh, when you interact with this tool assembly, you're kind of interacting with with all of it. Now I'm going to duplicate this, which will duplicate. So by duplicating, you right click on the assembly and see resources and duplicate resource. And come in here and change the name. Point two. Um, I'm going to make it for tool two. Okay. And you'll notice that that uh, changed the tool here. Let's change the name. Let's make it a ball now. Okay, now what if you want something besides a ball mill or an end mill? Um, you can come over here and add in whatever kind of tool you want, uh, but then you'll have to go into a uh, machine operation and add the assembly. So I'm just going to do it straight from within here. Uh, go over to that tab, what it is we're cutting with. Uh, we got that, but let's, let's go with a, a slot cutter. And now this doesn't have a holder, so let's put one in here. It's going to be our third one. Um, might as well change the name here. Okay. I'll make those same changes to this one that I made to the last one. stage uh, all right um, I'll just leave that name I don't usually deal with slots so um, now let's uh, now let's say you populated it with all the tools you have at your disposal. Um, now we want to send them to a catalog. So you right click and see resources, send to catalog. I have one already set up, and this is the directory where it'll go. So uh, update, right click and see resources, send to catalog, update. And this. I think I already have this one in here. Sure. Alright, and inside these tools you can also change uh, your fees and speeds, what's going on here. Now if you make any of these changes, uh, you will have to send it to catalog to make sure your catalog's updated. Uh, you can do all kinds of cool stuff in there. And where that's going to come into play is if you're using automatic feeds and speeds. 
Um, it'll calculate it based off of your uh, feed rate and everything. Um, yeah, how you machine your material. And it'll lock it in based off of the parameters you set inside the tool. So one other place I want to change is inside the machine. So double click on your machine, go to your machine icon here, tools, okay this one's already defined. And yeah, you would just pick your tool catalog that you created. Alright, and at this point let's say that uh, you have this uh, machined and this is the first time you've ever done a cap process so you kind of like how you uh, have it set up and you want to make a template um, one thing I will do is, is get rid of this get the uh, cap part out of there so that way you don't have to take that out every time you make a template so you go to tools machining tools isolate process data this little window comes up make sure you don't keep anything just hit OK and there you go file save as wherever it is you want to save it and oh do you want to overwrite yes and there you go you got yourself a template